Well, hey everybody, it's Kepo Jones here with another episode of the Wonderful World of Baseball Cards. I thought it was time to do a little Project 2020 update. Uh, these are the most recent uh, batch of cards that I have in hand. These have all probably trickled in over the past uh, probably two weeks or so. Top still owes me a bunch, uh, but this is a really nice kind of cross-section of different cards, and I thought that I would just kind of uh, show each of them and talk about a little bit of them each and why I like them and why I'm collecting the particular artists that I am and all that kind of good stuff. So um, I guess we'll just kind of get started up here on the top. First off, um, which is kind of Project 2020 related, is I got this original piece by F. Dot. Uh, he was doing a fundraiser on his Patreon and was offering these original one of one pieces and you can see it's embossed and signed by him. And uh, I just thought this was a really neat and affordable way to get an original piece of art. I'm going to have this matted and framed. This just came a couple of days ago, but it's just really neat and unique. and. Uh, I just thought it was a, gonna be a nice little addition to my oddball art collection that I have. Um, so I picked up this uh, original F dot piece um, and I just thought that it was really, really neat. And I guess we could start down here with the F dot Ted Williams, which is just absolutely a fantastic card. Um, you can get a good look at the, of it there. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, we'll show the backs too, and I'll tell you why we'll do that, why I'm doing that in a minute. Um, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, I love the Sitgo sign up there, and I love the little airplane. Um, he's really stepped up his game um, and makes some great cards, F. Dot. Not doing his full artist run, but I'll be picking up everything going forward. Um, this is an artist that I haven't really focused on too much and probably am not going to be picking up too much of his stuff going forward. Uh, but this is the uh, Jacob Rochester, Ken Griffey Jr., um, which is just an absolutely beautiful card. Um, I'll get the um, Jackie Robinson of J that Jacob Ro Rochester does as I'm doing the Jackie Robinson player run. But uh, I just thought that this was a really, really great card and had a kind of a timeless feel to it. Um, very, very beautiful um, card of, of Ken Griffey Jr. Um, I feel like this is one of the nicer looking Griffeys so far. Um, I really, really like that one. Got to be really careful with these because, you know, they might get scratched. You never know. Um, here's the famous Blake Jameson McGuire. This is in a strange one touch. Um, I'm not sure what the one touch is on this. This is a great looking card. Um, personally, I feel like Jameson has kind of peaked so far with this card. Um, this is a very, very nice card. Um, but I feel like his two subsequent pieces, the Mariano Rivera, and I can't remember what the other one was that he did. Oh, the trout with Ben Baller, eh? Just not quite, uh, not not quite up to speed in my book. Um, but this McGuire was fantastic, and and by far his best looking card, clearly, is this Ricky Henderson. This one is leaps and bounds. His best card. This thing just pops. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, I kind of wish he'd uh, kind of go back to this more kind of simplistic uh, paint splashy kind of style as this card just really pops. And the green and the yellow just obviously go fantastic together. And um, I just, I feel like uh, he's uh, trying to go a little, getting a little cute and getting a little overboard with everything. Um, but that Henderson is just, that Henderson's one of the nicest cards in the set so far, I think. Um, and then here is the uh, Mr. Cartoon Jackie Robinson. 
which I think is it's a kind of an odd card. Um, I haven't picked up too many of the Mr. Cartoons. I did get the Maguire that came out, um, but this is just a beautiful uh, card. It's different. I still I don't feel like he's found his groove yet. Um, I don't feel like uh, Mr. Cartoon has found his his groove um, with Project 2020 yet. Um, or maybe this is it, you know, maybe he has found his groove and this is just kind of what we're going to get, but, um, I do like that Jackie Robinson, um, and that's part of my player run. I wouldn't have picked up that card otherwise, um, if I wasn't doing a Jackie Robinson full player run. Uh, we'll move up here to the grotesque Derek Jeter. Uh, this one's got a little bit of QC issues on it. Uh, it's pretty badly off-centered. Um, I'm doing the grotesque player run. Um, his stuff's consistent. You know what you're going to get with him. Uh, but still a pretty nice looking card. Um, as I've said in my previous videos, I feel like he's kind of got a strange 19 kind of 30s type vibe. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but um, that's kind of what it looks like to me. Is that it's like kind of a 1930s vibe um, but that's a nice looking Jeter uh, nice looking Jeter card very simple his stuff is very simple and uh, he's not trying to like cater to the masses and you know do what he thinks people want him to do he's just doing his art and that's the same way I feel about Gregory Sif he just does his art his way uh, whatever he's feeling, uh, this Mattingly's fantastic. Um, I don't have the Jeter yet, but uh, this Mattingly is just absolutely fantastic. And uh, I love how he puts his little Gregory up there. Um, just a great looking card. And uh, we'll, we'll show the back on that for everybody and see. I'm not uh, manhandling my cards here. Um, but this, yeah, this uh, Mattingly is, is great. It's a blueprint. That's how he described it. Is it's like a blueprint. So I thought that uh, you'd enjoy that. Um, you could probably hear the sirens back there. I live in Albuquerque. Uh, they ring constantly. So there's not a whole heck of a lot I can do. Uh, here's the Tyson Beck, Bob Gibson. Um, I picked up the Ted Williams too. This card is just absolutely fantastic. I love, uh, I'm not really a big fan of Tyson Beck's card, cards in general, although he does have really nice stuff. Um, but I like how he incorporates uh, the back of the card into this one. And he did that with the Williams too. Um, so that's really kind of what got me uh, with this card is that he uh, incorporates incorporated the back of the original card and that's just a great looking card I think Bob Gibson's gonna probably have one of the nicest player sets when this is all said and done something about those pinks um, that are just beautiful um, so they yeah that's just a great great looking card I, I can't wait to see the um, Williams I do like I mean Tyson Beck's stuff is good um, but I did not like that Kofax that he did with the barbed wire. I guess I didn't get it. Um, here's, uh, Sophia Chang. Um, again, she's, uh, I think she's gaining a little popularity after her video with Jameson. Um, you know what you're going to get with her. Um, and she's another one. She sticks to her style. And I think that's great. I love the gold border on this maze. She did the blue and the gray border with the Robinson, which is fantastic. And then she puts all her little, you know, doodles in there. Um, but her stuff is great and consistent, very predictable. You know what you're going to get. And I think her run is going to look fantastic um, when it's all done. Um, and, yeah, so I just... Uh, it's a great looking card. The gold border is fantastic on that. And then here's the Ichiro from Sophia Chang. Uh, this one's all hacked up. Uh, the horrible centering on this one, unfortunately. Tops really, for 20 bucks a card, uh, Tops needs to get their act together with their quality control on this. Um, 
you know, I don't uh, buy a record album or something brand new and then say, well, it may or may not scratch. Um, but this Ichiro is still great. Um, I really like it. I think the Ermsey Ichiro is by far the best so far. Um, but like I said, she's predictable. You know what you're going to get with her. Um, and that's fine. That's fine. I really like it. There's a look at the back of the card. You can see I'm not manhandling them. Uh, fantastic. Um, we got three left here. Uh, here's the Fuji Trout. This is the only Fuji I have. I'll get the Fuji Robinson and the Fuji uh, Mariano Rivera, or yeah, Fu Fuji Mariano Rivera too, uh, for like my little artist run. But I love this card. Um, I, I haven't gotten all the Trouts. I've skipped on a bunch of them. Although I did order the JK5 because um, I thought that was pretty cool. But I really like this card because I love the Los Angeles that's written there. And I love the kind of starry sky um, and the old school kind of uniform on there. Um, although I feel like in the original artist rendition it had the lowercase a on there um, on the angel's hat and that it was like the 70s angel's hat but I could be mistaken on that but I love the desert scene um, you know I don't know what's going on down there but uh, I just thought that it's a, just a great this was just a great looking card um, it's the only Fuji I have so far I'm um, like I said I'm gonna get the Rivera too. And of course the Jackie Robinson for my Jackie Robinson player set. Unless there's something else that totally blows me away. And won't be getting too much of his stuff. Now this JK5 is fantastic. Um, this is of course the famous Star Wars card. Of course there's Boba Fett and Darth Vader up there. Uh, super cool. Uh, great looking card. Um... JK5 is good. He's got good stuff. Um, I haven't picked up too many of his cards. I think I got the Rivera and then the Trout. Um, I'll get his Robinson and I think I'm getting the Ken Griffey Jr. JK5. Um, but yeah, this is just a fantastic card. I, uh, I love that one. Um, great looking card. Um, really, really good looking card. And then finally, the famous Don C. Um, I've been picking all of Don C's stuff up. So I guess I'm going to probably just do his player run. So this card was not as disappointing as I thought it was going to be. It should have been foil um, and embossed. Uh, but it's still, actually, it's pretty cool. Um, and for some reason, I've been getting into the recent run of Frank Thomas cards. You know what? I got the Fuji Frank Thomas, too. Now that I think about it, um, I don't know what it is because I don't like that they had to airbrush the Auburn uniform and I wish they just put him in a White Sox uniform from the 90s if they were going to play that game. But there's something about the recent Frank Thomas's that Naturel that came out earlier this week was just fantastic. Um, I don't know what it is. Recently, I've really liked some of the recent Frank Thomas cards. But yeah, this is... Um, you know, this is the uh, the Frank Thomas, and it's just it's fantastic. Um, really, really good stuff. So they're kind of soak it in, folks. Um, this is kind of a nice representative sample of some different artists. Um, this is kind of that beginning of the high print run stuff, um, with the exception maybe of that Henderson. Um, but really, really nice stuff. Now the reason I was insistent on showing the backs of all the cards is that I got bit by the refund bug and I got totally scammed by a buyer on eBay. So I sold an old man Alan, old man Alan Gwynn, um, like on Memorial Day. And I actually had it at a lower price than what it was going for, but it was still pretty high. Um, I think the, that card, the Old Man Allen Gwen, goes for roughly about 200 right now. Um, I sold mine for $375. Um, it sold in less than five minutes of being listed on eBay as a buy it now with signature confirmation. Um, I got an email uh, Tuesday night 
uh, that um, a return request on eBay. My first refund request ever on eBay in 15 years of doing sales. I said the item was not as described and looked at the buyer's feedback. He has four straight uh, refund requests uh, that were completed. Very angry sellers who know they've been scammed. I instantly reported him, um, tried to work something out with him, uh, offered him a new one touch, um, offered him a partial refund of $50 for some new one touches for his time. I was trying to remain cordial. Uh, asked for some pictures. Uh, he sent me some pictures um, and on the back of the card it literally looks like he took a steak knife or something, some kind of sharp object to the card. Put a huge X on there um, on the back left side. Uh, so I'll just take this Robinson here and I'll show you. So the pictures that I got there's like a huge X there, and then there's like two huge gouges down there um, that if my card was in that condition, A, I would disclaim something like that, and B, I wouldn't even sell it um, because of its condition. Um, so he hacked up the card. Mind you, he'd had it since June 3rd and had to sign for it, and he pulled the line of that he just opened it uh, today. Uh, meaning Tuesday, so he'd had it for uh, two weeks. Uh, really frustrating. I talked with eBay uh, at length on Thursday about how to proceed and what to do. They noted that they are actively investigating him right now. Um, I'm still going to lose. I'm still going to have a mangled uh, old man Alan Quinn, uh, Gwen that was pristine when I sold it. And... Um, who knows if it'll come back with the wrap and the, what the condition the box will be in and what else he's done to the card. There's nothing wrong with the physical card. Um, it was just the case, uh, which I offered to replace for him. And uh, just a scam artist. Uh, so I'm done uh, buying and selling Project 2020 cards on the secondary market. Uh, it's too risky. Uh, maybe next year at this time when it's all done and everything's been shipped, I will. Uh, but I'm not touching anything or even considering selling anything um, until um, until I can figure out what the heck's going on. So I just realized there was an Ermsey Williams um, that I have that for some reason I did not uh, that I did not feature on here. But oh well, we'll show that one next time, the uh, Ermsey Ted Williams. I don't know where he's hiding. But uh, anyway, everybody, this is Kevbo Jones with the wonderful world of baseball cards. I'm like looking for my Ermsey Williams now because he should be in there. But uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, keep collecting what you love. Stick with tops with the Project 2020. I admit I'm feeling a little of the fatigue with it. Um, it's fantastic. Top still owes me probably 20 plus cards, maybe 30. Um, I imagine we're going to be getting cards until March or April of next year. What can you do? All right, everybody, take care. See you soon. Collect what you love. Have a good Father's Day tomorrow for all you dads out there.